Hi everyone, today we're going to roll our thighs, our hamstrings, upper thigh compartment, so to speak. Cool. All you need is a foam roller, as mentioned before, and possibly using your big ball today. All right, so place the foam roller under your legs, uh, support yourself through your hands, and then it's the same principle as we spoke about before. You want to apply pressure, if you want more pressure, get the bum off the floor, even more pressure, you can try and load your other leg on the top. However, I find it's, it's just getting a bit too tense up, it's like you're getting a bit too mm, forcey with that. So maximum getting your bum off the floor and then start to wiggle right to left. If you are using a ball for this, and again, you will only do that once you've advanced into it a little bit, um, you probably won't be shimmying as much. But as I said as well before, there is no rules to this as such. Um, if you go with the ball, you are a bit more pinpointed in certain areas. And therefore it's more about just applying the pressure and relaxing the body into it. So we're going to work from the knee all the way up into your bum. And again, as usual, just go as slow as possible with as much as intention as possible. And with this, if you find yourself going through it fairly quickly, with this one, you can definitely go back down again as well. So I often find myself moving a bit more through the whole area back and forth. Um, that's, I don't know, just how I find it a bit more comfortable rather than waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, also, the more multiple move because it's such it's such big muscles you're working through. Um, so many myofascial tissues that run through those areas. So the more movement in a sense, I believe you get into this coming from different angles, different directions. And every time, even though you are going, you know, back and through the same areas, you won't be going through them on the exact same angle with the exact same pressure as before. So by applying that variability, um, I believe you will be getting a uh, much bigger um, result or much more out of it. And that's how we're rolling through our hamstrings. Usually what I like to do from here is once I get all the way to the bum, I kind of come up and I sit, find my seating bone, and I like to wiggle a little bit back and forward over that. That's usually fairly tight for me. Um, and I find with most of my massage clients, this is always a bit of an area that gets a bit stuck and a bit glued up. So that will feel quite good. Now be aware that you've got a few nerves running through the back there as well. So if you're feeling um, kind of shooting reactions all the way down the legs, maybe just back off a little bit. Um, otherwise, yeah, we don't want to um, end up with any nerve damage of any sort. If it stays localized, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Beautiful. Now, as you can see, I'm slowly turning in here, so I'm kind of working my way into the groin. That's just how I'm feeling it today, where it's needed. And that's what I always say as well. It's, you know, there's no rules as such. This is more about exploring what the body needs and wants at this point in time on that day when you're doing it. So that can change from day to day, uh, from week to week. Hence, you should always go into it, not, oh, I'm gonna roll. Well, you can go into it saying, oh, I'm gonna roll my legs today, but keep an open mind of what the body's gonna tell you how or which particular areas of the leg um, your body needs to work on. Now, as you can see, I come up onto my hand I'm going onto the outside of my body here, working through the backside of the glutes. So I'm not on the thigh anymore. This is definitely butt area that I'm working on here, going into the joint, rolling through that, going back and forth. So you might find I'm not shimmying as much as I did on the legs, because it's just a bit hard to get that reaction, <laughs> that movement happening here. So it's more about just applying the pressure and slowly moving through it or sitting on it if you're finding a fairly tight spot and just let it relax into it. Now I'm going to work this all the way 
into the top of the hips with that same intention, nice and slowly, bit by bit, all the way up to the top of the bum. So you're moving past the past the plumber's crack, so to speak. Okay, so you're not in the lower back, you're still on the top of the hip bone. And just working your way through there. Beautiful, and that's how we do our hamstrings and our glutes. Now, if this is particular for the glutes, if this is too much pressure on the floor, you can do this with your butt against the wall, okay? So take your ball if you've got one, you can do it with the roll as well, but the ball will definitely work better here. You chuck your bum against the wall, this between the wall or the ball between the wall and your bum, and then you can work your way through here as well. So if you're finding on the, whoops, <laughs> there you go. If you're finding on the floor is a bit too much pressure, then you can put this onto the wall. However, you need to be sure that you're pressing into that wall so the ball doesn't run away. And also, this will obviously just have a, require a bit more work from your legs. Whatever you do on the floor is a lot of work required through the shoulders. So in saying all this, if you are having shoulder and neck issues, foam rolling is probably not for you just now, nah, just yet. Um, you will probably have to see a practitioner and get your shoulders and that sorted and um, more functional again before you can actually get rolling yourself. So that was an issue I had um, for a lot of time where I didn't roll mainly due because it was just too much on the shoulders. I got tired very quickly. I couldn't hold myself up. I've got pains in the shoulders and in the neck. Um, and so it just wasn't worth um, what I was getting out of it for the legs because all this just jammed up even more. So yeah, get a few sessions, get the neck and the shoulders sorted and then um, get rolling. Cool. All right, so that was the back side. Let's do the quads and um, the inside as well as possibly the outside. I'm not a fan of rolling right on the lateral side, just your IT band. Um, different views on it. I personally just simply find it way too painful for myself to even get in there. I don't see the point to get in there. You can increase blood flow to it by rolling it. However, as I said, it is for most people super, super, super painful. Um, you can desensitize that area, but I don't believe you're actually changing a lot in the area because it is a tendon. Yes, I think it's a tendon. Um, and it is just so strong. Um, it, 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 you know, it resists forces a lot, lot higher than whatever you, what, what you'll ever be able to put in through a foam roller. So I don't think the benefit of increased blood flow into that area in particular outweighs the pain <laughs> you're inflicting on yourself. But hey, whatever floats your boat on that one. Um, so go ahead if you like. However, I like to work just on the top and then 45 degree on each side and we're going right into the groin as well. So for the top, we're going, I'm gonna do the other leg. If you wanna move out of the camera sensor, that would be awesome. Okay, so we're coming into a plank position this time. So thumb up, foam roller right above your knee. Now use as much of your body as you need to to support yourself. So if you need to be down here, by all means do so. Just try and not let this hang down too much. So still bring the hips up and try and get a bit of support here. But as you can see, hopefully, my left leg is fully on the floor to support. Okay, so if you need less pressure, that's what you can do. Otherwise, come up into a more plank one situation here. Only let the knee support you on the other side. Use your elbows here and then bring your leg on. So if you can handle it, come up into a whole plank here. So you just get supported by your knee and by your arms. And we're gonna start an applied pressure. And then I personally like 
to rotate just right to left trying to cover as much radial area here as you can so rotating your hips around in and out and slowly moving your way up towards the hips now if you find a spot i've got one a bit here that's a bit more tender hold it and just give it a bit of a shimmy forward and back most people find the quads are a bit harder a bit more painful to roll than the hemis so be a bit mindful of that when you go into it for the first time and we're just going to work our way up to the hips you take your time here or not as i said depending on if you've got time or not if you haven't time set yourself a timer two minutes and try and stick to it okay now in saying that for the quads you may want to put four minutes on the timer because two minutes is a little bit um a little bit too short probably to work through now as you come closer to the hips you can drop the hips down a bit more as well and rolling through here that's a bit of a clunk going on there beautiful and so just keeping that those 45 degrees in mind so as you can see hopefully i'm not fully on my side this would be being fully on my side going into the it band I don't really want to go there. I'm more looking for the small muscles on the side that run up into the hips, into the hip joint that are responsible for flexion and extension and stabilization and so forth. Now, once you get to the actual hip bone, being a bony area, you definitely just want to be on a spot and shimmy okay whenever you've got bones whenever you're around a joint you don't really want to roll over that or move too much you just want to shimmy across it and try and separate that tissue off the bone now if you're a bit shy these kind of movements you want to be privately doing this <laughs> If you don't mind your family watching, go ahead. Beautiful. Now, to get right into that groin, you want to have the roller kind of facing, like if you're facing that way, the roller is facing the same way. Now, this time we're going right onto the inside, starting on the knee. And again, just shimmy it here. And then moving your way into the hip just bit by bit shimming back and forth again you can see you can still play with your rotation here just changing the angle slightly and just work your way in there going further and further in i'm just going to move the roller till i get right into here because you can literally, for the boys, obviously you may have to kind of move things out of the way. We've only got a little bit easier here. We've got another area of the body where it's the other way around later on. Um, so yeah, I want to get right into that groin. And as you know, as you can see, this looks a bit funny, a bit inappropriate. However, feels really, really good and is important to get into because this can get really really tight and tense and glued up whatever you want to call it some professionals or pro some practitioners don't like the word tight anymore i don't mind it um you know whatever whatever works for you and whatever creates a vision in your head um but yeah tight glued up uh, tense, <laughs> thickened, whatever floats your boat. Beautiful. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to get into the front of the hip a little bit more, really close to this joint, to the pelvic region. And this feels all really, really nice. And that's the legs done pretty much. 
So one thing I just remember, what you can do, particularly when you're working the top of the legs, so your, your actual quadriceps, um, one movement you can do, which some people really like, um, is if you've got a point that's really tender, you can stay there and then just go for flexion and extension and you'll feel that you're creating movement through the tissue that way as well. So that's something you can play with as well. And that's how we do our legs. Front, back and all the way around, including the glutes and the hips. Cool. Join me again, hopefully next time, and we will be going into thinking sides of the body. We'll see. All right. Till then. Bye.